If you look at the comments under any video about Russia and India, you'll find declarations of love from both sides and statements like, oh, how I wish to visit your country. And believe me, Russians leave positive comments like this very rarely. The internet mostly knows us as bitter trolls. Russians love India, its people and its culture, and our love goes further than military deals or international politics. We love India so much, we kind of occupied Goa. Russian relations are often described as special, while politicians stick to the term strategic partnership. And they're right, strategic it is, covering everything from trade to defense. Scholars and journalists have covered this topic over and over again. This is all Wikipedia material. We are here to talk culture. Love for yoga and wellness. Did you know that Yoga Day is celebrated in Russia on June 21st every year? It's not an official holiday, but a beloved one, with park events, concerts and Indian food festivals all over. There are many yoga centers in all parts of this country. People love practicing it and are very much interested. Yoga's rise to fame started in the 80s, mainly due to its reputation for health benefits. And now it's practiced in every gym across the country. Fun fact, the legendary yoga teacher of the West, known as the First Lady of Yoga, Indra Devi, is actually Russian. Evgenia Petrson was born in 1899 in the Russian Empire, but fled the country following the revolution. She became an actress in India first, and then became famous as the first foreign female yogi. She's a true legend in the world of yoga. Fondness for Indian culture. Following an interest in yoga, Russians opened up to Ayurveda, vegetarianism and religion. In Russia and Moscow in particular, young people are very fond of holy, without actually knowing its true meaning. Here, it's more about form. Bright colors and loud music attract a young and vibrant audience. But if we are to talk about Hinduism in Russia, we have to mention the Hare Krishna followers. Together with a couple of other lesser known Hindu reform movements, they make up around 0.1% of Russia's total population. Yet, they're worth a mention because as the International Society for Krishna Consciousness was the first religious organization legally registered in the USSR. In the 90s, they actively recruited followers, and they did it so well, in fact, that the Russian Orthodox Church even got worried. At first, the Russian Orthodox Church protested against the construction of a Krishna temple in the uh, 2000s. Then, 2011 saw a full-on court case on the recognition of the book Bhagavad Gita as it is, the main canonical text text of the Hare Krishnas uh, as an extremist text. The book was left alone, but the attitude towards the Hare Krishnas was still tarnished. Despite that, Ayurveda and Indian cuisine have been growing more and more popular in the recent decades because they go hand in hand with an overall trend in Russia towards a healthy lifestyle. Speaking of trends, Russians have grown incredibly fond of Goa. In 2018, 55% of all tourists in Goa were from Russia beating every other passport. The Russian exodus to Goa is a trend and many move there for good. Beachside restaurants often have English and Russian signboards and you can hear Russian being spoken everywhere. Obsession with Bollywood. Yes, young Russians are fond of India, but they're not the only ones. Older generations of Russians who were born and raised in the USSR didn't practice yoga or Ayurveda, but they watched Indian films. Bollywood films became widely available across the Soviet Union in the 50s as an alternative to Western cinema. Most foreign films imported from 1954 to 1991 were Indian made with Disco Dancer and The Vagabond topping the list of the most popular foreign films. Passionate Indian movies with singing and dancing fascinated Soviet viewers with their colorful stories of love and drama, helping them escape from the mundane, as researchers say. 
Older generations of Russians are very nostalgic about old Indian movies, songs and actors. They know Raj Kapoor, Nargis and Amir Khan. So it's not just strategic partnership and military trade. No partnership would ever make Russians love another country with a culture and tradition so different from ours as much. This love affair is a combination of our curiosity about Eastern religions, nostalgia towards colorful Indian cinema and vibrant culture, and a love for yoga, wellness, and spicy Indian food. So different from Russian cuisine and yet so very sought after. And on that note, I'm running off to get myself some dal mahani and butter chicken because they're my favorite. Postscriptum. In the 19th century, there was a famous Russian lady called Yelena Blavatska who founded an enormous theosophical society based on her studies of Indian religions and philosophy. Part of her studies included a racial theory that years later got the attention of the Annan Erbe and then Adolf Hitler himself. If you want to learn more about one Russian woman's role in the Holocaust, tell us in the comments section.